Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jason Morris here. Today, we are going to do a little bit of a tutorial. Yes, as you saw by that introduction there, uh, this is the whole setup here. So we're gonna be a little bit creative today and show you something that you could actually do in a product video if you wanna do some product videos. Uh, obviously, this is in water, so your product will have to be obviously waterproof. You don't wanna be putting a light in there or a camera in there, uh, unless it's a GoPro uh, or an Osmo Action. So that's why I use the DJI Osmo Action, uh, so I can do a little bit of a product video style with this. Uh, there are a few things that you actually need, and I'm gonna go through that all in this video. Let's get into it. So first of all, you're gonna need the product. The product is the most important part, uh, but not as important as lighting. Now, I've got a very, very basic setup. You can see I've got the iWater Genius Light. This is actually attached to a sound boom. Uh, so the, I usually have this on my desk. Well, it's attached to this little desk right here. I've got the iWater GL Light 01 and 03, just right on the side. So I've got these contrasting lights coming down on both sides. Now, what I'll do is I'll actually put this directly into, into the fish tank. I'll move it back a little bit. So for obvious reasons, you're gonna need a fish tank. You're gonna need a fish tank and you're gonna need some nice, clean, clear water. So chucking this directly into the fish tank, setting up the product shot. So that's essentially what we have there with lighting. Now lighting, you wanna be just, just play around with the image. So it all depends on what kind of style you're going for, but you can bring the lights closer, you can turn up the intensity, you can turn down the intensity, it all depends what you are going for. Now this, let's set this camera up right here. This essentially is what we've got going on right now. Take it off autofocus. So you wanna have this in manual focus as well because uh, when the cloud goes around the Osmo action, it might actually focus on the cloud. So. It is a cup of milk. So milk seems to be a nice thick consistency when you put it in water. It turns out like smoke or like a white cloud. So you can see here, it's pretty harsh lighting on one side. If I turn the Osmo action on that angle there, it needs to be tilted as well. So I want a harsh rim light on the Osmo action. Now you can see the harsh rim light on the edge there. And I've got this light right here is the the, uh, the main key light. I'm gonna up that intensity a little bit. It's probably too intense. Now you can chuck a soft box on there so the light is much softer. But for this instance, we're just going harsh lighting on this because I wanna create uh, so usually, you won't have this big light on right here. So that's my main key light, so you guys can see me, uh, but obviously you can't see me right now, you can see me now. But I'm gonna turn that off momentarily, just so I can show you this movement right here. So essentially the movement we are going for is just a nice slider. So this is a camera slider by Zipon. It's the Micro 2. They also have an electric one at the moment, which uh, would be really nice to use. Uh, but this one is just the manual one. It's just a nice, smooth motion. So you can have the camera static. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with the camera static. We're gonna pour this directly in. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, there you go. All right, all right. So this is the milk going into the water right now. So you can circle it like that if you want, create a whole bunch of different shapes so you can go directly from one side. All depends on what kind of style you wanna go for there. Uh, but obviously that'll look a lot different 
once you are much closer. This is just a wider view, just to show you guys exactly what it looks like from the, uh, from the wide view. Now, like I said, you can come down from behind or a different angle, a bit harsher on the product. And then at the same time, you can also slide the camera across. If you do have a slider, you can do static shots. That's perfectly fine because there is enough movement in the frame. It should be fine to do static shots. But obviously you're going to have to do this over and over and over again because the water is going to get dirty. You need to pour out the water and get some clean water once again, once you do it shot after shot after shot. Uh, as you can see, obviously by this, it's very cloudy water. So uh, the, the main thing is right here is that you just wanna try and get a whole bunch of different angles and different movements. But essentially that is how it's all set up. The main thing is the lighting. You just really want those nice contrasting lights. So it's not all just 100% lit up. You do want some shadows. So trying to create shadows is probably one of the most important factors right here. Now. Also have to mention, just gonna take this camera off right now. Now you can see right there, I do have a black sheet at the back. So I've got a black sheet at the back attached to two tripods. It's just taped on their back there. But essentially you just want a nice uh, neutral color background. It's up to you. You can put some fairy lights on the background if you want as well. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I just went for a nice black background. So that's my setup there. You've got the light coming on this angle. You have this light coming on this angle, or you can go both behind and shadows at the front. It's all up to you how you wanna do this. Also a quick shout out to Gina Raz Bigav. I think I'm reading that correctly. He's a filmmaker based in Dubai. Incredible, incredible Instagram. Check it out, Gina.Raz. The link will be in the description below of his Instagram. So I did uh, get a lot of inspiration from his uh, setup and his filmmaking. He's an incredible filmmaker, check it out. But anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, that would be absolutely amazing. Comment below if you found this useful and if you're gonna give it a go, definitely recommend it. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it.